The start of the Jungle Ultra is upon us. We've had nine weeks of prep. I feel completely unprepared, excited, anxious. I've packed my bag six times and then I realized that I left this in the very bottom of it and I had to go back down again to get it out. But look, absolutely feel like an extremely lucky man to be here, to be very honest. It's an extremely beautiful part of the world. I feel like it's the calm before a massive storm, a storm that I'm looking forward to taking on. It's been amazing. It's been great to meet all the other athletes that are taking part. You know that sort of feeling of shared anxiety when we're all sort of feeling the same things, it kind of takes it down a notch. But like truthfully, we've got about three or four more hours before going to bed, getting all my little bits and bobs ready, and then it's just take this on and go. Johnny, how is it going? It's going great, mate. Feeling very good. Trying to take it in, be present. I am hoping to go slow enough to take this race in properly, but go fast enough to compete and feel like it's it's not just a hike through the woods. Everyone's doing the race for a different reason, but for me, I want to get in there. I want to give it a good go, see how I get on, and complete the full course. I'm going to grab some food, barbecue pulled pork for the 15th time, go through a nice little wind down routine, get through tomorrow, get through Sunday, and then fly home to the wife. Happy man. I signed up for this event because I always need a big scary goal. It's out there, wherever fear is, that's where you need to go, that's where you need to kind of embrace, and truthfully, I wouldn't be doing it without Spencer, so I have to put my hand up and thank him first. He, he tends to be very good at roping people into doing things. Absolutely smashed it this race. I feel like if it was a 10 day race, he could have kept going. Looked stronger and stronger each day. And a real gentleman around camp. That's John. Nobody realizes how slow they have to go at the start. And the old analogy of start slow but finish strong is most applicable on long events like this. And it just comes back to bite you in the ass. The best athletes don't always win these races. It seems to be about getting your fuel right, checking your ego, and uh, going slower than you think you need to go. I think that's so important. I wish more people realized that because then they would actually be very, very good at it. <laughs> <laughs>